Hello, uh, welcome to Train Symphiatic. And uh, today we'll be looking at a few bits I've been buying. I put down two Ultim models in Ultim and put these bits up. So let's do the title and then have a look at what we got. The first thing I got is this pack of uh, Acarail uh, Friction bus Buffer Stop with a coupling pocket. Acarail is a new uh, company into modern railway and they're bringing out some very interesting things. They've got three different versions of uh, buffers. These, uh, then there's Another two set which doesn't have a coupling pocket, and then they've got a single set which have lights. They're also bringing out some quite interesting coaches and stuff. This was one of the reasons I went down to um, Alton Models today. The other reason I went to Alton Models was uh, I wanted to thank him for the help he gave with the uh, um, for fundraising, so I gave him the last mug. I hope everybody have received their stuff. Um, if you haven't, if you want to send me an email about Wednesday, I'll chase everything up and just check that what's going on. So, I gave Paul at Alton Models the last mug because he helped so much with the... Um, with uh, fundraising and I've picked up some bits from him so these are the Acrail uh, buffers nice packaging so in the pack you get two buffer stops uh, two lots of 16 uh, friction shoes and a friction shoes basing tool then there is a lot of writing, which I haven't read. That's the only downside I have had so far, is the writing could have been a bit larger. Uh, so I think I'll open this pack. So let's open the pack. So, pull the pack off. And take everything off. So we got a bag of friction shoes. Come on camera. It's want you to focus on that so there we go bit of manual focus and you can see all of those then we have a spacing tool And then we've got two of these um, buffer stops. So that will be quite nice. So I'll grab a piece of track and then we can have a quick play with it. So I just have a piece of uh, flatsy track. This is code 100. And let's see how that goes. On. Okay, let me. I'll come back in a second once I've got this on the track. 
It took a little bit of fiddling, but this now fits on the track. It's actually pretty nice. You got some nice detailing on it. And then you replace these um these things in front of it. So they would go along here, so you would use your placing tool, put it on the track, and then place these at the appropriate points. So that's the first thing we're looking at. My plan for these is to put them in the station where about um, I normally have some trains stabled as I'm I've never been happy with a Pico buffer so I thought these would do quite a nice job as a change and they were also very reasonably priced. This is the other thing I've bought it's a set of several different uh, lubricating oils it's uh, made by Woodland Scene and it's a hobby lube um, so this have all the oils and greases you need to maintain everything. So I've been pretty bad at uh, lubricating my locos. So in this pack you have seven different oils and lubrications. Some of them come with little tubes to make lubricating easier and each each tube have a different use so you've got gear lubricating oil you've got dry white lube you've got uh, white grease you've got uh, seven different things you then have this lovely sheet which tell you how to use for um, nozzles and then you've got this thing saying hints for work with lubrication, which you can't see easily there. So if I lift this up, you can see it gives you all the hints. So it's just as bad to over lubricate as it is to under lubricate, as you can cause some real trouble if you over lubricate. So I bought this kit with a plan to actually start to maintain my locos a little bit better. So that's some interesting bits I've been buying. Uh, sorry about not having a video on Wednesday. I just had a lot to do at uni and I hope you enjoyed the video showing what I've been up to at uni. That project is at the university for another two weeks and that's in Farnham and then I travel to uh, London. Uh, my course which is FDA for Film and Digital Art for photography for, uh, course and for um, fine art course all year twos are going to the Barge House in London and we're going to be exhibitioning our work for I think it's three or four days um, so that will be something fun I have so I'll actually I've been ex exhibitioned my university work twice and if you're wondering what's going to happen with the bits I bought for that um, they'll be used on for railway for different projects. So, thank you for watching. Uh, Wednesday, I'm going to have a quickie. Then next Saturday should be for the Southampton Modern Railway Show. I'll be there Saturday morning. Um, hopefully filming. Uh, if you see me there, come over and say hi. Um, it's in East Lee. I can't remember which school it's at, so 
uh that's what we've got coming up this week so see you on wednesday for a quickie and then uh for southampton motorola show so that's everything for today thank you for watching make sure to like subscribe and comment uh thank you to paul at alton models for your support over for christmas project which I raised uh, £332, which I think is absolutely amazing. So I'll see you all next time. Thank you very much, Richard.